y'all ready for this? This week on Hamped Up, I wanted to draw attention to a topic I've touched upon before, mental health, but more specifically, superstition. This concept hits close to home, and I hope to bring more awareness to this issue as a whole. I sat down with Benjamin Thompson, who specializes in counseling and mental health performance skills training, to get his insight on this topic. Well, you know, I work with a lot of athletes and a lot of high school athletes, and uh, right off the bat, let me just say, um, I don't think those are ri rituals or things that need to be broken at all, necessarily. Um, rituals and routines um, are actually really good things. It's only when they get to the point that maybe they slow you down so much that, you know, um, you get in trouble with a referee or an umpire that they're problematic. But there's a tremendous amount of research out there um, showing that people who have these kinds of even superstitions, rituals, benefit from them because it gives them a sense of control and, and a sense that, um, you know, that, that maybe they're going to actually do well. So confidence is a big part Austin of it. Austin Red Sox, they started growing beards in spring training for solidarity, and look what happened. The Red Sox have won it. And, what a... and just to give you some examples, I mean, there's some really famous examples of people who use and have these rituals. Um, Wade Boggs of the Boston Red Sox, he always ate chicken for lunch the day of every single Red Sox game. That was his ritual, and he was an incredible batter. Michael Jordan um, always wore his University of North Carolina um, shorts underneath his Chicago Bulls shorts because they were good luck shorts for him. It's probably the biggest issue I see among high school athletes these days, anxiety and people's anxiety level getting so high that they're, you know, throwing up before events, um, they're worrying for days ahead of time, um, and they're just not enjoying themselves because they feel so much uh, anxiety, you know, before events and stuff. So a lot of the work around that is helping them to learn ways to relax, you know, calming breaths, mindfulness meditation, but also looking at their thoughts. Because a lot of times if people have these thoughts like, I've got to score this many points, or I can't mess up, or everybody's going to hate me, um, those thoughts make them more anxious. So we try to help them be a little more realistic in their thinking, you know, so even if I have a bad game, is everyone going to truly hate me? Is that going to be the end of my life? Um, trying to correct that automatic, catastrophic, negative thinking or anxious thinking that feeds the anxiety and makes them tight. So it's about teaching people to calm down and just be in the moment. To prove how normal this way of thinking is, I took to the halls of NHS to ask some athletes about their personal superstitions. So what are your superstitions? I eat a Rice Krispie treat before every game. <laughs> and why do you do that? What benefit do you think it has on your athletic performance? I think it gives me a lot of energy for the game. If we win a baseball game, uh, I don't wash my jersey until we lose because I believe that we'll win. Okay, and why do you do that? I just believe we'll win. I just believe it's good luck. And it usually works out. We're usually pretty good. So my lucky number is 14. So I do seven swipes of deodorant in each arm because it equals 14, obviously. And um, I always wear the same hair tie every single game. And I wear my hair in the same hairstyle also. Boys basketball played last night against Tantasqua in the quarterfinals. And girls basketball will play a semifinal playoff game either March 4th, 5th, or 6th. Thanks for watching Hamped Up. I'm Lulu Kesson.